turn now to a look at the homeless in Silicon Valley. Their very existence is evidence of a widening income divide in one of the wealthiest and fastest growing regions of the nation. We partnered with KQED San Francisco for the story. Scott Schaefer reports from San Jose. This may not be the image that comes to mind when you think of Silicon Valley, but it's a scene that's become all too familiar here. Homeless people wedged between a freeway and a residential neighborhood. You'll find a lot of encampments tucked in little nicks and crannies for over the past two decades. This is how the city has hidden its homeless problem from its citizens. Anthony King has lived on and off the streets for 15 years. Now he has an apartment and spends his days advocating for the homeless. That's beautiful. On this day, King is visiting Narnia, an encampment named after the mythical world imagined by author C.S. Lewis. That's my home right there. Most residents set up their makeshift homes hidden behind the brush. Robert Hernandez, an unemployed roofer, says it's only a matter of time before authorities give him and his neighbors the boot. When they come and sweep us, they come and they say, you've got to have all your property gone or else we're just taking it, you know? It's really stressful because the neighborhood behind us, if they've seen, you know, a crowd of people pushing shopping carts with all their belongings into their neighborhood, well, of course, they're not going to have that, you know? So we have to move at night. There are hundreds of similar tent cities across Silicon Valley, all within a few miles of the world's most profitable tech companies. Last week, the most notorious and perhaps largest encampment in the United States was demolished. Known by its residents as the Jungle, this camp of more than 300 people stretched across 68 acres along the muddy banks of Coyote Creek. For years, San Jose City officials turned a blind eye, but an increase in crime, growing piles of garbage, and human waste polluting the river fueled neighborhood complaints. Ray Bramson is the city's homeless response manager. Due to the unsafe, unsanitary conditions, the bad weather coming in.